Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 20 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum Walkthrough. In this episode, we're getting every non-missable photo in Vinicio, aka Chapter 4. Uh, for any missable photos, make sure to check out my previous video, and that video has timestamps to every missable scoop. So, let's get right into it. Right now we're inside of an iron house. So there's five photos to get. We need to get the egg-shaped transmitter, the small generator, the TV, the banana, and the ceiling fan, which is called ventilation. Okay, so a few photos to pick up. You want to get a photo of the light of the Luna Stone. You want to get a photo of the Iron Shed. You want to get a picture of the blue light inside of the water. You're also going to want to pick up a photo of the windmill feathers. Now we're just going to head on over here. So now you can pick up a feather of a photo of the red house and the windmill up there. All right, so we're gonna head off to the future now. There's ten photos for us to pick up in here. So we're just going to go into the green lab. Okay, so there should be five photos in here. So we got the air cleaner right over there. We got the egg chair. We got the energy pipe. We got the work robot. And we got work equipment just up top. Okay, so we're just going to pick up one photo outside right here, the searchlight. And now we have four more photos to get inside of the main lab. So you're going to want to grab a picture of this, the System 5, whatever, whatever that was. <laughs> a picture of the Futron 800, the Neo Projector, and you're also going to want to get a photo of the arm on one of the uh, Futrons. So that's all the pictures here. Now we're off to the Finny Frenzy. Alrighty, so the um, Finny Frenzy is active now. So we're just at Palm Brinks. And we just get to it the same way we do the fishing tournament. Just by going towards the mayor's office. Cool, so there's only three photos. Just the Finny Frenzy sign, then we can just go inside, and then there's only two more photos in here. So you wanna get a photo of the island inside, and a photo of the water tank, and that is every single photo, every single non-missable normal photo in this chapter. So we're gonna go on to the scoops now. See you in a sec. All right, everybody. So we're just going to start off with getting the scoops. So come to Venicio at 5 p.m. and snap a photo of the evening sun here. This is one of the scoops. So we're going to save that. Remember, don't get rid of it because we're going to show it to Donnie. All right, so we're going to go. Alrighty, so once you snap the photo of Venicio's evening sun, just kind of hang out here until midnight. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. And we're just going to run on over to this cave here. Just kind of go as far in as you possibly can. 
Okay, there's an invisible wall here, so just snap a photo. Behind this rock, there is a ghost, and it's a surviving soldier. So we're gonna go inside of Ocean Roar's cave, and we are gonna head on over to the Cave of Ancient Merles, the place with the awesome soundtrack, <laughs> and a scoop. This room has beautiful music, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> anyway, all we gotta do is snap a photo of the wall. I almost don't want to leave because I just want to hear that music. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go pick up our last photo for this chapter. We're just gonna run on over to the future quickly. Okay, so the last scoop is a picture of the Luna Lab symbol. And that's it. That's every single non-missable photo. So we're just going to save these. Do not delete them because we got to show them to Donnie. Alright, so since we're here, we're going to get all the chests now. So starting at the warp gate, we have a chest right here. Pretty much if you just check every square meter of this place, you'll find every chest. Kind of like all the other ones. The future in chapter 4 is a little bit bigger than the last few, so that this does take a little bit of time. But the one that takes the most time for sure is chapter 5. Chapter 5 is massive. It takes like 15 or 20 minutes to go through and get all the chests, unfortunately. Chest right here. The good thing, though, is all the chests are outside of the lab, so... You pretty much just do a full lap around this place, and then you're done. Sapphire. Witch Parfait. Another witch parfait. <laughs> We're gonna hop on Monica since she does run faster than Max. Very slightly, but she does. Potato pie. So there's actually no chests in front of the blue lab. Paradot. And Fruit of Eden. And the last chests should be over here. No, we got them already. So that is every chest in chapter four. We got two witch parfaits, two potato pies, and four fruit of Edens. And then we got those gems there as well. So that's everything for this video. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.